All right, so look, this is your first back-to-back of the season. How are you? Well, you've been sitting here with this dumbass hat on waiting for me to get on because I'm hurting. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get a lot of treatment. I had to get treatment. <laughs> then I had to lift. Then I had to get treatment after the lift. Damn. But I, I, that's a big boy, man. He fast. He's strong. I tell people about Zion. He ain't just strong. He's powerful, nah, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's powerful, forceful, right. man. Right, and right. So taking them bumps for two days in a row, man, my back hurt, my my hips hurt. Bro, trying I'm to stay in front of a dude up. like that is crazy. I'm hurting, brother. But you know what? It was good to get that first back-to-back under my belt. Yep. Um, you know, play well in it, get both games. You know, there's a confidence that comes with that. Like, you playing that first back-to-back, mm-hmm. especially, you know, as you get older in this league, and to just to remind yourself, like, yo, I can still do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I can still do that at a high level. So, you know, I felt I feel good um, yeah. that I was able to play as well as I did in both games. But I, I'm happy we got the day off tomorrow. Because <laughs> hey, always my body day off is, is hurting, bro. <laughs> day off is always great, but you know what? Usually, like on the on the second game of the back to back, for some strange reason, like you feel good, like you're that's like, man, I don't, like I feel better than I did the first game, right? Yes, that's crazy. Yes. I actually did. You you go out there because it's a mind thing as well. It so is. you go out there. and it's kind of like tiptoeing around. You kind of do something. You're like, ah, all right, I can do that. I mean, tiptoe around somewhere. Like, right. Ah, all right, I can do that before you know it. I'm like, all right, I got it, man. Like, I got right. it tonight. I'm ready to go. It's very, it's very weird like that because uh, it happens that way sometimes. And then yeah. mentally, I think you just lock in differently, knowing like, you bro, do. I can't, I can't let the back to back be the demise. Right. Me. Like, I gotta that, lock in. That's what it, it's more. It's mental, right? I would say it's more it's more like the mindset because you, you you almost like in a in a uh, survival mode on the back to back. You know, one thousand percent. Like, let yeah. me get through it. Let me get through it. And then you get oh, to yeah. a point where you like, no, nah, let's go. Like, I got it. Like, we good. But initially, mentally, you're like, man, I just got to get through this. Like, and you count down and you're looking at the clock. And you're like, all right, one quarter down. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> yeah, we close. But eventually, hopefully, yeah. you reach that point to where you you forget about it and you just end the game. You know what I'm saying? And that happened to me tonight. First quarter, I was like, ah, all right, I'm filling it out. Second quarter, I'm like, it's go time. I, I feel yeah. it. I got it. I'm all right. Yeah, you feel cool. The presidential elections are coming up quickly. So I'm here to let you know that Kamala Harris believes in building wealth. Black generational wealth. Her policies will benefit our communities so we can pass something along to our kids. That's why Kamala Harris has a plan to give a $50,000 tax deduction for startup small businesses so we can not just get by, but get ahead. Bringing down the cost of renting or buying a home is such an important step towards bridging the racial wealth gap. That's why she's eager to assist even more families in realizing their dreams of home ownership by offering $25,000 in down payment assistance for first-time home buyers. Visit KamalaHarris.com issues to learn more about her vision for our future. Paid for by Harris for President. Up next, you got a five-game road trip. Mm-hmm. So uh, no loan management for you. And so this got me thinking about how long the season is, how long it's about to be for you. You know what I mean? You're in year 13. So before you go on this long five-game road trip, I ordered you something from Amazon yesterday, my brother. That's this box. For several hours. It, but I got the right one for you. Oh, I need this right now. Come on. Wait, my back feel. <laughs> I got you covered. You know what I mean? We ain't on the low management. I need that right now. Oh, man, I got you covered. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, my brother. Hey, see? There go that experience kicking in. You know, these, <laughs> these old these old dudes ain't had these when they was playing. Man. I appreciate you, man. You just know, you know, most old dudes like you would hate and not give me this because you want me to feel like y'all used to feel. No, nah, I appreciate not at you, all, old bro. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be calling you Unc in a minute. You <laughs> 
They gonna be calling you. Bro. They call you big. Hey, once they start calling you big homie, somebody gonna come in the league and be like, "What's up, huh?" Big homie, <laughs> OG. OG. Somebody <laughs> actually has called me uncle already, bro. You got the young fellas come up to you like, "Man, I watched you growing up, bro." Hey, like, bro, that's it's sick. It's like, yo, what is this, <laughs> man? This is crazy. I'm gonna tell Ugh. you a funny story. So, when JK first got here, Kaminga. And like, uh -huh. one thing about Kaminga I learned is you have to earn like his trust, his respect. Like he ain't yeah. coming in like, yo, you did this. Like you have to earn the relationship with him. And mm -hmm. it's great. I respect it. When he first got here, his rookie year, he would just walk past me. And every time he walked past me, he would laugh. He just start laughing. Like every time he snicker, he walked past me. <laughs> <laughs> every time you look at me, <laughs> Walk past JK. <laughs> and um, Trav asked me one day, my boy Trav. Trav said, Man, how's you and JK relationship? And I was like, Well, you know, every time he see me, he laugh. And yeah. he's like, Oh, okay, that means he like you. I'm like, I said, nah, Trav, the way it feels is he looking at me laughing like you old motherfucker. I said try because when 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 he see me the laugh what the laugh give me is when you see an old school player walking through first thing you do yeah, you yeah, laugh and say, laugh. Well, right, old school I see you like all right, I, I see said, you old school. I, see, yeah. I said that's the laugh he giving me like <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> You weird, you old, you something, you ain't dressed right, you ain't doing this right, you ain't move right, you ain't dance. I'm like, that's the laugh he giving me, that's bro. That's sick. <laughs> it just happens overnight, though. Like, one year, you the young guy on the team, then the next year, somebody come in and they're like, okay, OG. I'm like, Dog, for real. It happens <laughs> It's crazy. It, it's sick. It's like everything you say, everything. Everything you do is funny to them. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, why are you so serious? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Me, bro. Uh, OG. See, man, I gotta look out for my OG. You feel me? No, for sure, bro. But I, I definitely appreciate this. I need it. You know what I'm saying? You get a, you get on this road, sitting on these planes, back to back games, traveling a lot. You know, this is this 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 is good. So I, I appreciate it. <laughs>